You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. These are the Air Jordan 1 Low in the white in Varsity Red colorway. But before we jump into it, we want to give a huge shout out to the good folks over at 1985 Gallery. Make sure you give them a follow so you can stay up to date with all the current releases. But let's take a look at the shoes. You have the Jordan 1 Low, mainly consisting of these synthetic leather overlays for the upper. Right here at the tongue, you do have a nylon tongue with that Nike Air branding in red for the tongue tag. It comes with red flat laces, but they also include an extra pair of black flat laces as well if you want to swap them out. Taking this down to the toe box, you do have this nice premium synthetic leather, soft to the touch with perforated holes. You have black leather overlay for the mud guard. And on the side panels of the shoe, you have these nice crispy black Nike swooshes. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you do have that Wings logo on this red leather overlay. And then you have more of that red leather overlay for the bottom of the heel cup. For the midsole, you have a two-tone midsole, white and red. And for the outsole, you have that classic Jordan 1 outsole with the Nike swoosh in the middle. For those of you who might not know, this Jordan 1 low has the same color blocking as the original black toe Jordan 1s from 1985. Fun fact, for the low versions back then, we only got a couple pairs. I want to say it was the neutral gray, natural gray, and the white and metallic blue. And in 2015, Jordan Brand did start bringing back original colorways like the bread Jordan Lowe's and the Chicago's, the Royals, and the Shadows. But this is the first time we're getting a black toe Jordan Low with this color blocking with the Nike Air branding. They did release a similar Jordan 1 Low in 2019, but it had the Jumpman branding and the White Wings logo was on the bottom of the heel cup. We were supposed to be getting a true OG high black toe one in 2024, but I've read that that might be scrapped, so these will have to hold us over until we finally do get a pair. Back in 2006, I did have the Old Love, New Love pack, which included black toe ones with the Jumpman, but it also included the yellow and black Jordan one that I was more excited about at the time. I didn't know any better, but the black toes ended up becoming one of my favorite pairs. I haven't had a pair since, so I'm really hoping that Nike will bring those back sooner than later. I really like this Jordan one right here. I love the color blocking. It's cool to see Nike and Jordan brands still find ways to give us colorways on the lows and the highs that still resonate with the originals from 1985. These were supposed to have a release date of July 28th, but I've read that they might be pushed back to August 4th. So if you're in the area, make sure you follow 1985 Gallery so you can stay up to date with all the release information. The price point on these is 140, and resale right now is anywhere from 180 to 200, depending on size. I feel like this will be sought after, original colorway on a low top with the Nike Air branding, you can't go wrong. As far as comfort goes, you kind of know what to expect from a Jordan 1. There's not too much cushioning there, but they are comfortable, but I wouldn't recommend wearing them for long periods of time, but they'll get the job done for your regular day-to-day -day usage. And as far as sizing goes, I would suggest going true to size in the Jordan 1 low. I go true to size as the same as your Jordan 1 high. So this is a nine and a half, they fit great and I feel like a 10 would be too big and a nine would be too small. But if you do have a wider foot, then I suggest maybe going up a half size. And as far as style goes, it's classic, immortal, can't beat it. It's a Jordan 1 low with the Nike Air branding, like I mentioned. Nothing gets better than that, especially when they throw in the classic color blocking. Personally, I might throw the black laces in them, but it doesn't look bad with the red. How do you guys feel about the Air Jordan 1 low, university red and white? Let us know in the comments below. Do you like these? Or are you gonna hold out for the high top version? We'd love to hear from you guys, but let's go ahead and try these on. Yeah. I never asked to be put on. No. I went and got it on my own, that's for sure, dog. Might put up on ATVs. Then hit the trail in ACGs, cause we outside. Never asked to be put on. No. I went and got it on my own, that's for sure, dog. Might put up on ATVs. Trailing ACGs, cause we outside. Fresh conditions, 
I'm outside with it. I might go fishing, no, I do not hold feelings. I go off road if the road missing. You know that the flow different. Shooting shots while all these hoes go tending. I might go swimming if the girls are skinny dipping. I'm not balling on them, but I am not penny pinching. Captain of the ship, I promise you we never sink in. Got it out the mud. If you enjoyed this review right here, make sure you check out all our other Jordan 1 reviews. We got a bunch of them for you guys to enjoy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Drop a like, drop a comment, and we'll catch you guys on the next episode.